AI products have come a long way over the last few years. I remember reviewing niches, which would allow you to generate little paragraphs and get them very excited about it. And today I've got two new AI tools that do quite different things. One is a brilliant assistant that follows you around the web and the other can help you generate reels and shorts. So two deals I'm looking at today are Merlin and Reelcraft. Merlin is quite a mature product, so I was quite surprised to see it here. It's very well developed, it's well established, and it has a lot of really useful features. So the Merlin dashboard will be pretty familiar if you've used something like ChatGPT. You have a chat interface where you can ask it questions, give it commands, but it has quite a few differences as well. And the reason why you want to take a look at this is because you gain access to lots of different AI models. Each model has its own cost. So if you're just using 3.5, that's one credit. And then as you go up to 4.0, 25 credits, 25. And then you've got the Claude models. If we go down, you can see them all. I think the most expensive one is, yeah, it's Opus is the most expensive one. But you've got a good range there to experiment with. And the AppSumo deal comes with pretty generous credit allowance. Just a quick word on the deal, because if we just head over to AppSumo, I'll put an affiliate link down below. Tier one gives you 5,000 credits per month, but I think the sweet spot is gonna be tier two, because that allows you to bring your own API key. And that's important, because it means if you do start using this a lot and you run out of credits, rather than not be able to use it, it would fall back over to your own API key, and then you just pay directly for your usage. So when you, when you launch the chat interface, you'll notice Next to the model selector, you can select the web access it has, so you can just turn it off. You can have turbo, which gives faster but limited access for quick replies, or you can have in-depth. Then down here, you can see you can chat with your documents, you can create chatbots, you can generate images, and it's got a code interpreter. The chatbot section's quite cool. I need to explore this a little bit more. You can create your own chatbot, but there's a lot of chatbots already available. This is, after all, quite a mature product, and so there's quite a few out there that you can try out. The cool thing is it uses AI to help you create the bot. You fill out a little form, you give it a name, you choose the category, tell it what you want, and it will go ahead and write the instructions to create your chatbot, and then you can go ahead and tweak that. It has a history of all your chats, so you can very easily just Go in and pick up where you left off, continue working. And here's an example of where I've asked it to write a blog article and it had access to the web. So it's given me references to go along with all the different elements. It includes a Chrome extension, which gives you access to Merlin all around the web. So if you do a search, for example, on Bing, it will come up with this little box to try and answer your search question and then you can ask follow up and you can start a new chat. It also pops up to help you with your LinkedIn posts. It can help you generate emails in Gmail and Outlook and it can also help you on YouTube. You can grab transcripts or you can generate tweets, blogs and more. So this is a video I've done recently. Let's say uh, generate a blog from this video. So here you can see it's grabbed the meta information and then it's repurposed that video into a blog post, which is funny because the tool I'm reviewing here repurposes videos into blog posts. And it also integrates with Twitter, so you can come on and get it to draft you a tweet. If you want access to Merlin while you're just browsing the web, you can press a shortcut key and up it pops, giving you access wherever, and you have always can see how many queries you've got left, and you've always got these basic options, so the chat box is just available everywhere. One of the advantages of grabbing the Merlin deal is you're not confined to just using it on your computer because there's also mobile apps available and they work really well. You still get access to the web, you get access to all the different modes that I showed you before and they even include how much it's going to cost. So this is very similar to using the desktop version. Included on the mobile app is a wide range of tools. So you can take a look at AI writing, brand name generator, paragraph generator, there's loads of stuff and it's all very quick and easy to access. You also have access to generate images and you can do that a bit like the text stuff. You've got access to a range of models. So if we, and it also has the option to upload files from your mobile 
to the platform to then use those in your AI content creation. So if you like the look of Merlin, go check out the full deal via my affiliate link below. Now let's turn our attention to Realcraft. This is a new kid on the block. And rather than focusing on text generation, although it does do some of that, this is focusing on audio and video. So this is the Realcraft dashboard. It's a very simple to use system. You simply start by typing or pasting an idea or story into this box. You've got up to 4,000 characters, so you can just give it the seed of an idea or you can paste in something quite long. You select whether you want 4K images, animations or 3D animations. And note that these have different subsettings. So on 4K image, you can choose music, ratio, voiceover, the type of video, and the visibility. If I go to animation, you also get an additional style. So there's different styles of characters that can be used. And if we go to a 4K animation, that reduces it right down. So at the bare minimum, you can choose the music and voiceover and the content type. In terms of voiceovers, they've got some really good high quality voices. Change in all things is sweet. I'd rather regret the things that I've done than the things that I've not done. And you'll notice here my voice. Hi there, this is Mark and this. And so I've uploaded this file. Now it took me a minute to figure this part out. So let me just show you. You go to assets, you click to upload a file and it just needs to be an MP3 of your voice. So take off a video, just record something, upload it, assign it as a voice sample. And then when you're creating your video, you can simply select it down here. Now on the plan I've got, I can do up to three voice clones. So I've used one, I've got another few I can use. I'm on tier two. Once you've given it an idea, you'll need to select the type of content. It then goes away, uses AI to come up with a story based on the seed idea. You can see I've been trying out a few different ones, different styles. So if we take a look at this one, for example, so the seed idea I gave it was how's AI impacting content creation. So it's come up with a story. It's written this, I haven't. And then it's created a storyboard of images and each has a prompt and a voiceover. Once it's completed, you will get a finished video that you can download. AI is changing content creation, automating tasks, personalizing content and providing insightful data. <laughs> now that voice is supposed to be mine. I don't, I don't think I would say automating tasks but it's it's pretty good if you want a unique voice i guess that's the key it's not going to replicate my voice perfectly by the sounds of things or maybe i need to give it a longer sample of my voice see if that would work and this next example i gave it the seed request of the best sci-fi films uh, available of all time something like that the dawn of science fiction in cinema introduced fantastic narratives sparking curiosity and wonder about the universe and our place within it Iconic space epics like 2001, A Space Odyssey, and Star Wars transported viewers to far-flung galaxies, fostering a cultural obsession with the cosmos. That's pretty good. Now, I don't know if you just heard it. Uh, one thing I have noticed is it's not quite there yet. Every now and again, the words, the, the voice, kind of gets clipped at the end of a scene. And I guess that's where it is trying to splice up the audio generation between scenes. And for some reason, every now and again, it just misclips it. And so you end up with a, a slight leftover remnant. It's, it's quite subtle. In this final demo, I've used the portrait. And it's a nice cartoony looking one. And uh, this one's about mindfulness. Mindfulness, an ancient practice, is about focusing the mind on the present moment, detached from judgment or distraction. It features prominently in major philosophies and religions. So that's obviously not my voice. That's one of the stock voices. I think it sounds great. What this video highlights, though, is another slight quirk that at the moment it sometimes repeats the generated video. And so you get that weird loop as it's playing. And I find that a little bit distracting. So as we play through, you see there, it just tried to loop. And you can't really tell on these ones. These are some really, I'm not sure what it was thinking of there. But so it's not generating always the required length. And so you get this strange loop 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 effect but i would say this looks like it's got a lot of promise I, that sci-fi one's the first time i've seen it it looks really good and i'm gonna go back and have a little look at that so to get started with this will cost you just 59 dollars for tier one and you get one voice clone it says one voices per month so i guess maybe that means it'll renew i'll be interested to see if i can try that out a few more 250 credits you can see i've generated four or five and that's probably about right different styles 
Tier 2 gets you the 500 credits, higher storage, three voices, and white labeling. Now, I should just explain that white labeling isn't really white labeling. What it means is light branding. So you can pick the color of this sidebar and you can add your logo if you want to. It's not really white labeling uh, as I would think of it. And then tier three, you get a whopping 3000 credits per month, five voices, white labeling and pro mode, which I don't really know what that is because I've only got tier two. So if you want to check that out, and if you get promoed, please let me know what it does down below. The dawn of science fiction in cinema introduced fantastic narratives, sparking curiosity and wonder about the universe and our place within it. Iconic space epics like 2001, A Space Odyssey and Star Wars transported viewers to far-flung galaxies, fostering a cultural obsession with the cosmos. The exploration of dystopian realities in films like Blade Runner and The Matrix questioned our understanding of technology and self. From eye-opening AI sagas to cyberpunk narratives, sci-fi movies have left an indelible mark on global culture, reshaping cinema and storytelling for generations to come.